Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann, and I want to show you how to put a Calameo publication together. And in Sensi World, we like to put our catalog um, in the format of an e catalog by using Calameo. And I'm going to say, first of all, that it comes from Sensi in the wrong format, which unfortunately creates a half page publication rather than a full page publication. Um, I was able to find someone that was able to edit our PDF that we download off of the workstation and create it into a new PDF that had full pages rather than half pages. So we're not going to talk about the actual uploading or um, making of the catalog. Right now, what I want to show you is how to create an interactive catalog using Calameo that your customers are going to love. So once you have your catalog uploaded and you see I have it here, the process is pretty simple. You can go to YouTube and um, learn how to do that. Basically, it's just uh, by clicking publish, uploading your document and letting it do the rest. And then it'll show up on your publications page like this. Once you do that, you're going to want to click on this drop down arrow. The drop down arrow is going to give you multiple options for your publication. So in this particular situation, what we need to do is go down to editor that will open up our eDoc in a, an editable interactive platform. The different things that you can do is create clickable images that will bring them to your website. You can create a document to explain the product more. You can post videos in a section and I'm going to show you how that is done. You're going to notice that I've already got mine set up and I'm, I'm using this catalog because I want to show you how it looks like, but it'll go through a step by step process here, step one of eight. And we're going to go ahead and say, okay, so that if you want to take the time to go through that, you, by all means, I would suggest that you do. So we're going to go ahead and open up the catalog by going to the second page. If you see these blue squares that have links on them, that means that these images are clickable to my website. Now, the way that I create those, um, you'll notice that this one is an external link um, to learn more about me and Marissa. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that so that you can see what that looks like. And then I'll take you to some other pages where we can actually create some new ones from scratch. So from here, what happens is by creating this block of area, I'm telling the e-catalog that all of this blue area is clickable. So anywhere they click on the catalog is going to do this function. And in this particular case, the function is to take them to an external link, which is the bio on my website. Okay. The label is what they can see when they hover over the area. The other thing is that I want to have it open in a new window so that they're not losing the catalog or the spot in their catalog where they are, but it'll open up a new window to our website. Okay. So this is just to show you what this is going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and go on to the next page. You'll notice that there are no clickable areas already. Okay. So this is what your catalog is going to look like when you start. We're going to go ahead and click um, or create a couple different features on using this page because this is probably one of the only pages that does not have any clickable links on it. So in order to start creating a link or a video or a doc or add music or add a picture, it's totally up to you. We're going to go ahead and select one of the options on the far left hand side. They're fairly self-explanatory, but if you hover over them, they will tell you this is to add an external link. This is to add an internal link where they can go to a different page. This is where they can add a video. We can add an audio track. We can add a picture and we can add a specific zoom area. So in other words, it'll bring it up closer for them. Okay. So in order to do that, we're going to, for the purposes of training, select the first one, add an external link. When I click on that, it automatically adds this little movable square. Okay. Now the square can be 
changed in size to cover a specific area. Okay, so this is where the Sensi Go under number five was. So if I wanted to have this clickable to go to my website to see the Sensi Go, what I'm going to need first is to go to my website and find the link, right? So I'm going to need to go to my Sensi Go page. And then I'm going to copy the URL that is up top, which unfortunately you cannot see on this training, but you'll see that I'm going to post it back. I'm going to go now back to the window and I'm going to pop it into that space. Okay. If you click on the eyeball, what it does is it brings you to the page to make sure that the link is working. Okay. Here is where I'm going to label, click this picture to learn more about our Sensi Go. Yes, I want to open up a new window. If I click more options, it just kind of tells me I can size it through these numbers, but because I'm using these um, handles, what they call handles, I can size handles, I can actually size it like this, and it's much easier than to try and figure out what the numbers are. Okay. Send to back means that this is going to go behind the image. We don't want that because we want it to be an interactive click. So it's automatically going to be set to front and that's what you want to keep it as. Okay. So we'll say less options. And now this link is all set. If I click somewhere else on the page, it'll get rid of the editing window. And now when I hover over, it says external link, click the picture to learn more. Actually, you want to have nice short, did I type wrong? I did. <laughs> click pick. How about click pick to learn more because it doesn't show all of the words. So the shorter it is, the better, right? So let's try that again. There we go. Click pick to learn more. It tells me that it's going to an external website. When I'm viewing this catalog and I click on it, it will bring me to that page. And once we're all done doing our editing, I will show you what that looks like. Okay. So now if I wanted to create a video click, all right. So let's say I want to show them, oops, all of these windows, by the way, are movable. If I wanted to show them a video, um, of maybe this warmer or um, maybe the new spring summer um, products. I'm going to go to videos. Let's find a video and let's try this one. I'm going to get the URL to share it, which is right here. And I'm going to go back, paste the link. Okay. And if I click on view, it should open up that video. Okay. So then here, click to see video demo. Display a thumbnail. Yep. Play automatically. No, I don't want it to interrupt them while they're reading the catalog. I want them to be able to click on it when they want to see it. And then stop background music playing. If there were any playing, it would stop it while this video was playing, but we don't have any. So again, same things. And I'm going to click somewhere else. We're going to hover and there we go. Click to see video demo. Okay. So you can do this and be creative with your pages. So here is a link. It brings you click to buy accessories. I'm just giving you some ideas of what I've done. Um, here we'll bring you to buy scents, to buy some of our Scentsy fragrances. Um, same with all of those pages. Here what I've chosen to do is on this page, it brings them to all the warmers on my website, but these clicks go to these individual products. So by clicking here, it would bring me to the vintage croc, which let's test it. And there it is. Okay. So these are individual links as I've done on each of these pages. So this head page is actually getting clickable links on each product. This is bringing them to the generic web, uh, website page for all my warmers. 
Um, at the end, I want to show you very quickly. Um, this brings them to Sensi Go. This brings them to Diffusers. If I wanted to post a little video, I could do that here of the Diffusers. Um, okay, and so then I'm here on the end. This is where the fun happens. This is the page about hosting. So if they click here, they're going to learn more about hosting, and it'll actually bring them to hosting Sensi parties on my website. Okay, and then on the next page, it will actually bring them on this side um, to my website about joining. But I decided to put it a video on this side. And so when they click on the video, it will bring them to my join video. Okay. So all you, it's a lot of work, takes time, but it's so worth it. Um, what I want to do now is show you what that looks like on the customer's side. Okay. So let's go here. And we're going to read, we're going to view the live catalog. Okay. So I can go left and right. This is just like reading a catalog. I love this program. Okay. If I hover, see, it's not clear. It's not so dark that I still can't read the pages underneath, but it's also telling me click to learn more about Edie and Marissa. So if I click, it will bring me to my story. Okay. So we keep going here will bring me to my accessories and they're going to be able to tell that something is clickable because they're going to run, they're going to run their mouse over the pages. It's just inevitable. So let's keep going. And remember these pages were set up to go to fragrance page, right? And here, these go to the specific products. Okay, and just by putting the mouse over it, they're going to see that something is, is clickable. Okay, let's keep going. And here, they're going to go to Sensi Go. Here, they're going to go to Sensi Go. Here, they're going to go to the diffusers and see how my overlay uh, information at the bottom puts up a nice uh, caption for me. Here they're going to go to the oils and the body products, laundry, kids products. I mean, you could do each individual buddy if you want a buddy clip if you wanted to. Here they're going to learn about hosting a party. And this is the page that I want to show you. So see what happens. It does cover the page underneath, but to me, this video could potentially be more beneficial to them than actually reading the page behind. So they're going to see that this is clickable and it says click to learn more about joining. But anybody that says, sees the sideways triangle knows that they need to click on it, right? So if they click on it, it's going to bring them to the discover video which i think is brilliant Sensi right Sensi is family Sensi is hope exciting friendships and Sensi is fun it's so simple in addition to giving my house its best fragrance it's so pretty right so isn't that a much better visual for them and they'll see a little bit of what's going behind there um and so the video to me is just much more powerful. So here's another video that I added. So the Sensi Life, right? It's still talking about joining. If they click here, they can learn more about joining, but this video will bring them to our Sensi Life video, right? We've all seen this. Okay, we can sit here and watch those videos all the time. Um, and then here, I've got another one about, um, sisterhood and joining um and and learning how to order actually this one's learning how to order from my website so i created this video um so it'll go to my video of learning hey, how to everyone. order thanks for coming back to the okay and then bundles and save this brings them right to the bundle and save now if i really want to take some time i can go through and make each bundle clickable so that it goes directly to that page which i'm probably going to do 
um, on our website because to me this is an untapped um, awesomeness for our customers and we want to make sure that they know about it so then the back page uh, I have learn about ordering again uh, you can join and then here is to sign up for my newsletter so that is a quick synopsis on how to create a Calameo e-catalog that is interactive for your customers if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability all right thanks guys